We've recently been on a streak of really good Doom and Quake news. The Quake 2 remaster finally launched earlier last month, Doom Eternal got its first update of 2023 just a few weeks ago, and a new game titled Doom Year Zero was leaked earlier this week. We've been eating good these past few months. I'm happy to say that the streak of good news has continued, as Call of Duty has just officially announced that we'll be getting a crossover with Doom next month as a part of their Season 6 Halloween event, which will be yet another addition to the growing list of Doom crossovers. And since we're on the topic of crossovers, I do also have to bring you the pretty unfortunate news that the Doom Slayer will not be added to Mortal Kombat as a part of his second combat pass, but we'll get to that in a minute. Call of Duty has just announced Season 6 of Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone, which will be starting later this month on September 27th, although the Doom crossover won't start until the middle of the season on Tuesday, October 17th. A recent blog post revealed that one of the items from the upcoming Doom crossover is the Chainsaw, which will be a part of a cosmetic bundle. The post not only provides a picture of the cosmetic, but it also states, With a weapon that's brutally effective against Kako demons across the Martian moons of Phobos and Deimos, it's time to find some meat as Doom's eponymous melee weapon arrives in Call of Duty. This weapon, along with the deadly super shotgun blueprint featuring an all-new trigger attachment, are available within the Doom bundle. This truly hellish offering is available to be wielded across the haunting and, like all other weaponry, carries forward into Modern Warfare 3. Though physically different in form, the chainsaw has the same damage profile as the pickaxe, does not have a progression or mastery reward associated with it, and should be considered a variant of a pickaxe when delivering damage to an opponent. They do actually reveal the Super Shotgun later in the post, which includes an image and a short product description. As teased earlier in this blog, get knee deep in the dead with the Doom Tracer Weapon Bundle, complete with an arsenal of gear, including a chainsaw and a long range shotgun, in readiness to rip and tear your enemies apart. This does seem to imply that the bundle will have more to it than just these two weapons and the trigger attachment, but we likely won't get any details on that until the bundle releases. If I'm being entirely honest, this isn't really all that great. Like, don't get me wrong, I would rather have this than nothing, but they have the opportunity to include one of the most important FPS characters of all time, and they didn't. That seems like a pretty big missed opportunity to me. It is also a bit weird that they went with the classic version of a Super Shotgun instead of Eternals. It kinda just looks like an average boomstick thrown in with a dollar store version of Doom 20. 2016's Chainsaw. The lack of the Doom Slayer and a unique Super Shotgun model wouldn't be nearly as noticeable if it wasn't for the fact that they're also doing some other really big crossovers in the same update. Like cosmetic packs that include multiple spawn characters, two characters from Diablo, Ash Williams from Evil Dead, and Skeletor from He-Man. The classic Doom games were heavily inspired by Evil Dead, and Doom Eternal took quite a bit of inspiration from He-Man. This would have been the perfect time to introduce the Slayer. But hey, even without the Doom Slayer, I'm still glad to see the Doom franchise making its way into other games. One game that the Slayer won't be making its way into is Mortal Kombat, as new information has proven that previous leaks were fake. In case you've forgotten, there was a leak going around a few months ago that said that the Doom Slayer would be in Mortal Kombat's second combat pass. But the rumor had absolutely no backing to it other than someone claiming that it came from the same person that accurately leaked the first set of DLC characters. Now that Mortal Kombat has been fully released, we know that the Doom Slayer currently isn't planned for the game because every upcoming DLC character is in the game's files and it doesn't line up with the previous leak. The list of upcoming combatants includes Jade, Cassie Cage, Kung Jin, Cyrax, Sector, and Noob Saibot, Frost, Ghostface, and Conan the Barbarian as either cameo or roster DLC fighters. While Ghostface and Conan aren't directly named, there's enough unreleased dialogue in the files to confirm that they are planned to be guest characters. The entire DLC roster for Mortal Kombat X and Eleven were also leaked the exact same way, and both leaks were 100% accurate outside of Ash Williams, who was originally intended to be on MK11's roster before being replaced by the Joker due to some rights issues. The previously leaked DLC roster included the Doom Slayer, Harley Quinn, Kano, Noob Saibot, and Deathstroke, so it's pretty obvious that the leak was fake. This doesn't mean that the Doom Slayer won't be in this game, it just means that he won't be in the second fighter pass. There's still the possibility that he shows up some point later down the line, but there's almost no chance he'll be included unless they do a third pass. The Slayer is still popping up in places like Fall Guys and Fortnite, and they're even doing smaller crossovers with games like Call of Duty, so we'll get our fix of Doom content one way or the other. We may even be getting a brand new Doom game announcement in less than 3 months, which is insane. Click on the video if it's on screen now to learn more about Doom Year Zero, you don't want to miss this. Thank you all so much for watching today's video, I hope you enjoyed it. That's pretty much all that I have for now though, until next time.